Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and I am out here at the range today, courtesy of the Morphe Auction House up in Pennsylvania. One of the guns that they had have in this upcoming auction is a Bernardelli Model VB. This is a very low production gun, uh, came just after World War II, and it was an attempt by Bernardelli to produce a submachine gun for the post-war security and law enforcement market. And it looks very much like a Beretta 3842. So, yesterday we took a look at the actual internal differences between these two guns, and there are a lot of them. They look, at first glance, very similar. Practical matter? No, all the details are different. What I'm curious about today is how do they shoot? Which is the better one for actual shooting? So, we're gonna put some ammo through both. I'm gonna go ahead and start with this. This is actually a Beretta Model 4, which is what they called the post-war continued production of the Model 3842. Just you give it a new name so it sounds new, doesn't sound like the same old old stuff. So let's get right to it. Got a front trigger that's semi-auto. You know, it's interesting. This actually kind of has a little bit of a jarring impact. Um, I can almost feel it in my jaw when I fire this. That said, it's very controllable. It has a nice low rate of fire, stays on target nicely. I'm able to hit my bowling pins. You'll see that in a minute. Now, let's compare that to the Bernardelli. This guy has a single trigger and a fire selector lever, which I'm just gonna go ahead and leave in full auto and we'll jump right into it. Whoa, that is a lot faster. That's like a lot, lot faster. Let's see what that does in semi. It doesn't quite have the same jarring impact to it. This just feels like a perfectly normal, typical submachine gun. Uh, the trigger didn't quite want to reset. I just pushed it forward. Um, just I could use probably a little bit of polishing on a couple of those parts that have a bit of a rough finish from Bernardelli. Let's go back to full auto for a moment. I kind of like the high rate of fire. It's fun. I don't know that it's quite as practical as the, the actual Beretta. Um, you know, it's tough to have to make these sort of choices. So one issue I have with the Bernardelli is that its sights are kind of weird. It's got a really wide rear notch, but it's got a pretty narrow front post. And it's kind of hard to figure out exactly what those are supposed to look like in a proper sight picture. Uh, let me, let's see if I can hit that leftmost bowling pin. Also, it tends to climb a lot. Yeah, I have no idea where I'm hitting. Let me try with the Beretta. Only got a few rounds left in this magazine, but they might be enough. Oops, that was the semi-auto trigger. That's empty. There we go. Well, that counts as a hit. I think that pretty well tells you the sights on the Beretta are a little bit easier to use, huh? I'll tell you what, though, I keep accidentally going to the semi-auto trigger when I go to shoot. There we go. Yep, I think I have to call it. All right, my final decision. If I could have either one of these guns, it would not be the Bernardelli. It would be the Beretta. Sights, lower rate of fire, being able to make hits, 
that's the better thing to me. However, the Burner Deli is still a pretty darn fun gun. So both of these are, of course, in the upcoming uh, October of 2019 Morphe Exquisite Auction, along with a whole caboodle full of other machine guns. So check them out at Morphe's catalog online. And uh, I guess I have to dump magazines through both of these. How traumatic. Woo! That'll uh, vibrate your world a bit. This should be a little bit more sensible. Yeah, I like that. I am kind of an old man at heart. Thanks for watching.